Welcome to a very special edition of Tomorrow Today, coming this week from Iceland. And on this unique island, the Earth's geological history is more visible than anywhere else on Earth. Geysers, waterfalls, volcanoes, Iceland has them all. And one of these volcanoes, Eyjafjallajökull, Jökull, actually brought almost all of Europe's air traffic to a standstill for months. And that's where we're heading now. And joining us is Sigurdur Stentorsson, an expert geologist from Iceland. So, are you ready to go? Let's go. The view from up here is just perfect, but this must be a very special situation for a geologist. Well, it is clear that it is a great privilege to be a geologist in, in Iceland. That's to say, Iceland is in, in the making at the present time, and oh, yeah. is. There is very rapid uh, creation of, of land, so to speak, but also very rapid erosion. So one can study these processes, the processes that have been active on Earth for, for billions of years. That is one of the very interesting parts about the geology of Iceland, and a very unique part, too. Now, the eruption of Eyjafjallajökull Jökull was actually quite surprising. What kind of uh, personality does this volcano have? The uh, eruption there was quite unexpected. But still, there have been indications for almost 10 years of something happening. But eruptions in Eyjafjallajökull Jökull are very far between. The last one was in 1823. So it is not one of the volcanoes that are normally in the news, so to speak. Let's look at what's so special about the situation here on Iceland. What's special lies on the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. Thousands of meters beneath the surface, there's an enormous mountain range known as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. It's the seam where two of the Earth's tectonic plates meet. Along this boundary, glowing magma rises up continually from inside the Earth, forcing the plates apart and creating new seabed. At some places along the ridge, the mountains have risen above sea level. That's how Iceland was made. There are some 30 active volcanoes here today. One of them is Eyjafjallajökull, which famously erupted in the spring of 2010. Where did actually all these amounts of ash come from? How come there was so much? It is said that every eruption is different in some way. And yeah. we learn something from each uh, eruption. But this one is quite unique in many ways, I think. One is how very fine-grained the ash is. It is much finer grained than in, in usual. Has Eyjafjallajökull gone to sleep now completely, or do you expect another eruption? Well, that is also a difficult question. But based on the eruption in 1823, it started similar to this one for about a few months. Then it, uh, it, it was dormant for an entire winter, and then started again the following year, and went on for a long time, for, for an entire summer. And uh, so it went, it actually continued for three years, from 1823 to 1825. I mean, there's no indication now of, uh, of a new eruption, yeah. but it is a possibility. Thanks a lot for the great trip, Sigurdur Stentorsson.